hi all welcome back so today in this video what we are going to check here is that let's say I have a folder which contains multiple documents so this is a folder and you can see here it is containing a lot of documents T total 13 items are there okay so now we want to delete this document how can we delete that okay so uh, in order to delete the document that only the process that we are going to see here okay fine so first of all in order to delete all these documents first of all you have to get the documents from this folder how to know a particular folder contain which documents okay so for that what we will do here is that let's try to check in this folder how many documents are there local bank all docs okay and if I just write folder so you can see you can get like get documents from folder and now it requires root folder so for the folder this one I have already created a constant for this folder okay so this constant is there copy this constant okay and I will paste this constant here other see it requires root folder like where actually all the documents are present recursive search it is about like if true return results from all recursive folder so I just will just keep it true here okay now let's click on test Oh, sorry uh, I have to declare the variable so I have to call this all docs as well okay let's click on test and you can see all the 13 documents I have got from uh, my folder all the 13 docs now I just need to delete the document from this folder so what I can do here is that I will check I will click on the process model and I will create a process in order to delete the document okay so delete document so this is the process model that I am going to use to delete the document so what I will do here is that first of all we in the process as well we need to get all the documents right whatever the expression we have written in the rule so get all docs okay to delete what are all the documents which we want to delete it click on the data tab outputs new custom output and whatever the expression that we have written here let's just copy it and put it here as well okay click on save it and here we will create a variable all docs and it will be of document type because these are nothing but the document only okay one more thing keep in mind type is here list of documents so your process variable also needs to be list of documents only make it multiple now you got all the documents let's say like if I publish this process and run this process now what I will get in return so I will get all the documents see so all these documents I am getting here okay great next thing here is that how can we delete a document so in order to delete the document there is a delete document a smart service this smart service is used to delete the document okay let's open this smart service and see that what actually it takes as an input so it takes here input in the document it takes here but see this is just document it is not multiple multiple is not checked here it will require one document only but I have here almost 13 documents in the process I can have 50 documents as well to delete but it just takes one document at a time only so in that case what we used to do here is that we have to go for a loop concept okay so I will click on variable and I will create a counter variable which will uh, text the count of like a, what is the current iteration in the loop okay initial value I will give it here one now so whatever the document that are present there it will just try to take the first document okay index of one it will do for example if I just do index of one and click on test one I will get my first document if I do index of two then I will get the second document one by one the smart service will delete the document as well same thing I want to do here as well index of PV bank all docs and PV bank counter first of all if the counter is one then it will take the first document if the counter is two it will take the second document if the counter is three third document it means that we need to continuously uh, if you say what if we need to continuously increase the counter what if I read something like counter of 15 total document was uh, uh, 13 only but we have reached 15 so it will break so we have to get out of the loop as well okay so I have let's say like I have deleted the document then I will increment the counter after this okay so I will increment 
counter. Once I have deleted the document, then I will increase the counter by one because first index is deleted, then I have to go to the next document. So PB bank counter plus one. Okay, click on uh, save here and save into counter. Now the counter has become two here. Okay, but whether the second document is even available to delete or not. So for that checking, we will check an XOR gateway. Like do we need to get to again delete the document or do we need to exit the loop here? That's what we have to check the next thing here. Okay, docs remaining. Something like I have make here docs remaining. If I choose this path, it means that yes, it was remaining, otherwise it was not. Let's check how we can do that. Okay, at one time, see, counter will get increased to from here 11, 12. Finally, the counter will reach 13 as well at some point of time. And the 13 document will also get increased. So when the counter is 14, like 14th index I am, then it will break. So at that condition only we have to make it. So PV bank counter if counter is less than length because what is the total number of documents how I will get with the help of length only so if you calculate here local bank length length gives like total how many elements are present in the array okay local bank all documents how many elements are there and I'm just using here 12 and see here how many total elements are there 13 elements are there that used to give us the length so length of PV bank all docs that's it so if counter is less than this one okay then it can go and increment the counter right I guess uh, sorry it has already incremented the counter okay and if counter is less than this one so it should go to delete document otherwise it can go to the end node okay let's try to test it once and all these things are done click on publish and let's test it here so first of all it will get all the documents here then it will try on deleting the documents one by one all the documents will try to delete and finally see how many documents are deleted eight documents are deleted we had around 13 documents so see here only one document is remaining and click on test and it should go out that's it so how it has done and in the last as well all the documents it has deleted oh I guess one is left still how come one is left here so 13 okay so let me just call here local bank length okay and let's test it here so one document is still remaining okay so we might have to give here equal to as well so that it will take all this part here okay so current counter length it has reached to 13 okay so it has increased to 12 instances it has is then it has increased to 13 the 12th it has become okay and then it has reached 12 only so we have to make one more condition here let me just add here equal to okay so that it will take the last as well click on ok and publish this click on debug here okay and this time it will delete and it will end the counter as well so all the documents in this folder has been deleted let's try to test it once again let me upload all multiple documents and once again we will try to run it so if you see here we have around 11 documents in this folder as of now and now once again we will try to use this loop in order to delete the document all the 11th document so it has started to delete and let's refresh our folder as of now see uh, 6 is remaining okay and then 3 4 are remaining and then 2 is remaining and then 1 and all of them are gone great so we are able to delete so this kind of this kind of uh, process is very important let's say because in our last video if you remember we have seen that we can upload and preview image with a single click as well okay so in order to preview and click the image with single click what we have done that uh, we are uploading multiple documents but at given point a lot of document will get uploaded because user will keep uploading and removing the document so we need a process in order to delete the document as well this is the uh, part. I hope it was clear to you. Okay. So that's all for now. Thank you.